Why don't you know how to do anything, Sophia? I keep teaching you every day, but you will never learn. There is too much salt in the soup you prepared. I am so sorry, Ma. I will be more careful next time. If you do this nonsense again, you won't eat in this house for the next three days. I am sorry, Ma. What? You broke my plate? Sophia. Are you blind? Can't you see? You stupid girl. Why will you break my plate? Do you know how much the plate cost? Idiot of a girl. It was a mistake, Ma. As I was washing, it slipped out of my fingers. I am sorry, Ma. You are sorry. You will be more than sorry when I am done with you. For the next one week, I will not give you a dime to spend in school. You will suffer for this one broken plate. You will learn to wash carefully next time. Will you get out of my way, before I push you against the wall? <laughs> I am sorry, Ma. Lord, will this ever end? When will you deliver me out of her hand? When, Lord? My mom told me that you answer prayers, all I need is to just talk to you. I have been talking to you for the past eight years. Either you don't hear me or you ignore my prayers. But I also read in the book of John 14 13, and whatever request you make in my name, that I will do, so that the Father may have glory in the Son. Lord, what do I do to be free from this slavery? I am tired. Tired. Cry, cry girl. What have you done wrong this time? Deed, please leave me alone. Of course, you are always doing everything wrong in this house. That's why mom is always on your case. All you know to do is read the Bible and pray. Thank God I am not like you. I never do wrong and that's why mom loves me. How many things do you do in this house? I do the dishes, clean the house, heck, I even do laundry, including yours. Tell me, what chores do you do daily in this house? You know I don't have the energy to work. You are a lot stronger than me. I don't want to stress my life. So, how will you cope when you get married? Are you not going to marry someone someday? Of course, I will get married one day. I will get a maid. Yes, a maid and a chef. That's it. Okay, may God help you. If you don't mind, I need to talk to God. Will you report mom to God for scolding you? I have more important things to tell him. You know, sometimes I wonder how you talk to your invincible God. Do you hear him talk back to you? Yes, most times. How? Yes, I hear him mostly through his word. A scripture that talks about what I am praying for can just drop in my mind as I pray. As I interact with the scripture, I get to know the mind of God more on the issue. <laughs> I still don't understand. I don't think I can talk to someone I can't see or hear. It's because you don't know him, nor read his word. I don't have time for such things. I would rather watch movies. Okay. Sophia, I forgot to do my mathematics homework. Why? Because you did not remind me. But we were together in the class when the teacher gave us the mathematics homework. Yes, I know. It is your duty to remind me or even do it for me. Why would I do it for you? Mom says you are in our house to serve us, so I could ask you to do anything for me. Is that so? Yes. So will you do it for me when we get to school? No, deed. I won't. Do it yourself. Hi Sophia. Hi Daniel. How was your night? It was great. I had a great time in God's presence. It was awesome. Wow, I am jealous right now. I was busy in the evening, so when it was time to sleep, I slept like a log of wood. There is always another time. Yeah, you are right. Have you done your mathematics homework? Yeah, I did. What about you? I did too. Have you seen Joyce today? Yes, she is around. Hi Sophia. Hi Joyce. Have you done your homework? Yes, of course. I did it yesterday at night. Great. Where is Sophia's bag? I need to take her mathematics homework. She will suffer for not helping me to do mine. Yes, I can see it over there. Let me go and take her homework. Silly girl. It is time for our mathematics lesson. Get your homework ready. 
Yes, I have it nearby. I have mine close by too. What? I can't find my mathematics homework book. What? Did you put it in your bag yesterday or this morning? I put it in my bag when I finished doing the homework yesterday. Where could it be? I don't know. What am I going to do now? <laughs> this is serious. Can you quickly do another one? Time is gone, Daniel. The teacher will soon be here. Let's do it together. I will join you. So sorry about that. I will help you too. Okay, thank you, guys. Daniel, I know who stole my homework. Who? It's Deed. I saw her submitting her homework just now. It could be her homework. No, she told me she forgot to do her homework when we were coming to school this morning. She asked me to do it for her in school but I refused. She stole my homework. You mean she stole your homework? The girl is evil. Let it go, Sophia. You have done a new one. Let her be. I will give her a piece of my mind when we get home. If your aunt hears it, she will scold you the more. Yes, I know and at this point, I don't care anymore. Please, Sophia. Let it go. Daniel, leave her alone. Let her address it at home. That girl is wicked. Deed. Where did you get the mathematics homework you submitted? What kind of question is that? Do you think you are the only one that knows how to do homework? Deed, you are wicked. You stole my homework. What if I stole your homework? You were supposed to remind me about it yesterday or do it for me. You did nothing about it. We are both students in the school. It is not my responsibility to do your homework. It is, Sophia. If you don't leave me alone, I will tell mom. You know what that means? Scolding and possibly beating. What a wicked soul. Whatever. Good evening, Ma. Sophia, go and remove your school dress and start cooking dinner. By the way, you need to go to the grocery store first to get some of the ingredients to use in cooking. After that, you will cook the dinner. Then do the dishes and clean the house. Is that okay? Yes, Ma. Good evening, Mom. Welcome. My sweetheart. How was school today? It was fine, Mom. Great, go and remove your dress. There is a glass of juice in the fridge, take it and rest. After that, read your books. Do you hear me? Yes, Mom. Hi, Sophia. Daniel, where are you going? My dad sent me to pick up a drug for him at the pharmacy. Please come in. No. I will get a taxi. Please come in, I will drop you at home. Okay. Where are you coming from? I went to the supermarket to pick up groceries for dinner. And you will still cook when you get home? Yeah, I will cook dinner, do dishes and clean the house. After, I will talk to God, sleep and wake up early in the morning to read my books. Do you read your books every day? Yes, I have to read. I don't have time to read during the day or even at night. I have to do all the house chores. What does D do in the house? Eat, sleep and watch Netflix movies. While you do all the house chores? Yes. Who is the woman to you? I mean the woman you are staying with. She is my aunt. That is serious. She is treating you like a maid. I am a maid in the house. Sometimes I cry myself to sleep. My only solace is reading the Bible and praying to God. I don't even know if he hears me. I just enjoy talking to him. He is my only friend. That's why you like praying so much. I can imagine. Don't worry, one day all these will be over. I can't wait for that day to come. Thank you so much for the ride. You're welcome. Thanks for dropping me, Daniel. It's my pleasure, Sophia. Bye. Bye. Yes, where are you coming from? You sent me to the supermarket, Ma. I just saw you coming down from a man's car. So you went to see the man? from there to the supermarket and you're just coming back home. He is my classmate in school and I didn't go to his house. He saw me looking for a taxi and decided to stop and pick me up. So, you have started going out with men, Sophia. Hm? You've decided to start selling your body for money, eh? We don't have a prostitute in our family and you won't be the first. That was how your mother started, before we knew it she was pregnant with you. Look at where it has landed her today. 
From now on, you won't take taxis again to the supermarket. You will walk there and walk back. But it is far from here. That is your problem. Now go to the kitchen and make dinner. I am hungry. Okay, Ma. Dinner is ready, Ma. Go and call Deed to come and eat. Okay. Is the food ready? Yes, ma'am. I thought you were supposed to be reading and not watching movies. I am watching educational movies. So, it is still relevant. For your information, the final year examination comes up in the next two weeks, so you better start reading. What about you? Do you read your books? You better stop comparing yourself with me. I read every day. Okay, I am famished right now. Let's go and eat. Okay. The final year examination is here. How are you finding time to read? I read in between classes and in the early hours of the morning. Are you sure you can cover all you need to read to pass the examination? Yeah. I am trying. I also trust in the wisdom of God in my life. The Lord will help me. Yeah, you are right. The Lord's help is important. I need it too. You are a top-notch student. You always pass your examinations. It is with God's help, Sophia. I do what I can and leave the rest for God. We can have a review of time together if you want. You can ask me anything you want and I will give you the answers according to my knowledge. Wow. Thanks. Can I also invite my friend Joyce? Joyce is a loud girl. I hope she won't disturb the review class. No, she won't. She is also brilliant to some extent. Yeah, I know. Sophia, so you organized a review class with your friends and you didn't tell me. I did not organize a review class. Daniel did. Even at that, you shouldn't have invited me to be part of it. I didn't remember. Besides, you have more than enough time to read at home. You don't do anything. So you don't need it. Do you think I won't pass the examination? I am going to shock you. I will come out with better grades than you. You will see. That will be my joy. The two of us should pass our exams. Welcome, my dear. Why is your face like that? Mom, Sophia organized a review class for the examination without telling me. Why would she do that? Isn't it obvious? She doesn't want me to pass the examination. <laughs> is that so? Don't worry, she is the one that will not pass the examination. Thank you, Mom. Go and take your juice and rest. Then, read your books later. Is that clear? Yes, Mom. Good evening, Ma. So you have the effrontery to organize a review class without inviting Deed. Of course, I know your plans. You don't want my daughter to pass. News flash, you are the one who will fail the examination. I am not the one that organized the review. It was my friend. Ma Rover, Deed does not need it because she has enough time to read. I, on the other hand, don't have time because of the house chores. Are you saying that I give you too much to do in the house? Yes, Ma. I do everything in this house while Deed sleeps, eat and watch movies. Yes, you need to work more than anyone else because that's the only way to pay me back for feeding, clothing and sending you to school. That should be the responsibility of your irresponsible father. No one knows where he is. He abandoned you and ran away with another woman. So you have to pay with services to live here. <laughs> now, I have more work for you. The lawn outside is overgrown, you need to weed them. But we have a gardener that comes here to weed when the weeds are grown. Yes, but I have decided that you will do it to save the cost. But, I have the final year examination coming up and I need to read. The review class you do in school should be sufficient for you to pass. So, tomorrow is Saturday. You will clear those grasses tomorrow after you finish the house chores. You will also wash my dresses. Check Deed's room too if she has dirty clothes. You will wash everything. Ma, please. Can I do it when I am done with the examinations? I will be very tired by the time I finish the house chores, the gardening work and the laundry. I don't care. The instruction is to finish the housework the garden and the laundry before doing anything else. Everywhere should be clean. Do you hear me? 
Okay, Ma. Great. Oh God, why are all these things happening to me? Why are you not helping me out? God, I am tired. Instead of my situation getting better, it's getting worse. What have I done to deserve so much hatred? My mom said, each time I am sad, that I should talk to you and that you love and care for me like no one else would. But then, oh Lord, if you won't take me out of here for now please grant me the grace and the strength with which to survive in this place. Your word said in Romans 12 12 rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation, be constant in prayer. I will patiently wait for my deliverance Lord. Thank you. Why are you sad, Sophia? So you reported me to your mom so she could punish me. Yes, why would you organize a review class without inviting me? Next time, you will learn how to carry me along. By the way, you can report me to your invincible God too. It is well. Your eyes are swollen. Did you cry last night or did you not sleep? Both. Sophia, you have to take care of yourself, especially during this time. You need to read to pass, we know. But please be careful. Thanks, Daniel. Also, I am sure your aunt scolded you yesterday or something. You should be used to your aunt by now. Don't allow her words to hurt you. She increased the house chores because I did not invite Dee to the review class. Wow. She is so mean. Is that so? Why is the woman so wicked? Guys, please can we have a short review before we go in to write the papers? Okay. Wow. Thank God we are done with our examinations. You can say that again. I am so relieved right now. So, what's next for you, Sophia? I don't know Joyce, my life is in God's hands. What about you Daniel? My parents are already looking for the best medical school abroad for me, specifically, in the US. What course do you plan to study? I want to be a neurosurgeon. Wow. That's awesome. My parents are also looking for a school for me around here. They don't have much money like your parents, so I will just get a university here. I want to study computer engineering. That's lovely. Sophia, what about you? What would you like to study? <laughs> I told God I wanted to help pregnant women give birth successfully. My mom died while giving birth to my sister. The two of them didn't make it. So, I told God that if he could keep me and watch over me, I would become a gynecologist and save women during childbirth. But with the way things are going, no one is talking about universities at home. Don't lose hope. I am sure God heard your prayer and what you plan to do. He will send help your way, you will see. Amen, thanks. Now that both of you are done with high school, you need to know what you want to do with your life. First and foremost, Sophia. You need to know that this is where the road ends for you, educationally. I can't pay your school fees at the university. But Ma, my mom told me that you will see me through school. Have I not done that? I saw you through the high school. I have tried. I can't go beyond it. But Ma, how do I become a gynecologist without going to the university? There are options on the ground for you. You can look for work to do to earn money and save it for your school fees. Two, you can change your dream of becoming a gynecologist to a fashion designer. Learn how to sew clothes and make money. I want to go to the university. Then find your way there. As for you Deed, my beloved, I have gotten a university for you in a nearby town. Once your result is out, you will leave for school. Wow. Thank you, Mom. You are the best mom in the whole world. I know, right? I thought you said there was no money to send me to the university. Where would you get the money for Deed's school fees? Are you comparing yourself with Deed? That's foolishness, my dear. Deed is my only child, so I will do all I can to send her to school. Also, she has a responsible father who is still contributing to her well-being. Can you see the difference between you and Deed? If you can't, I will tell you. You don't have a mother and your father is irresponsible. So, tell me where you will get the money to go to the university. <laughs> it is okay God will see me through. God? The God that saw your mother through. The God your mother served couldn't save her life. You are associating yourself with him already. 
Let's see how far he can help you. God has been my helper since I was young. He will help me. Okay, we shall see. We are having a family get together next week. One of my aunts is having her 70th birthday. I will only go with Deed. Okay, Ma. So, we are going out to the fashion store to buy the dresses we will wear for the occasion. Please go to the grocery store to buy what we will eat for lunch and dinner. Thereafter, make lunch. We should be back shortly after that. Is that okay? It's okay, Ma. Great. Hey Sophia, how are you doing? I am fine, Joyce. The final year examination result is out. Have you checked yours? No, not yet. Did you check yours? Yes, I did. I passed. I am sure you will also pass yours. I am preparing to go to the university. That's good for you, Joyce. My aunt said she couldn't send me to the university. Why? She said she has tried for me. She said I should look for work to do to get money for my school fees or learn fashion design and forget about my school. Wow. Sophia. I am so sorry about this. What about Deed? Deed is her daughter. She will go to school by all means. It is well. God is the mother of the motherless. He will take care of you. Yes, he will take care of me. I wish you all the best in your studies. I need to go. I have to prepare lunch. Thanks. Let's keep the communication line open. Okay. Aunt Rebecca, happy birthday. May the Lord grant you many more years. Thank you, my dear. Where are the girls? I brought one of them, Deed. Sophia was too clumsy to prepare when we were coming, and as we were getting late, I couldn't come with her. Oh no. I would have loved to see her. It's been a while since I last saw her. I would have loved to see how she is doing. Aunt Rebecca, she is doing quite well. She just finished her school and she is preparing for the university. Is that so? Yes, Aunt. I am so happy to hear that. Thank you so much for taking care of your late sister's daughter. I am so happy. We thank God Ma. She is also my daughter after all. I am happy you took her as your own. Thank you so much. Yes, Ma. Daniel, what are you doing here? I came to say goodbye to you. Goodbye. Where are you going to? I told you about the university in the US. The result is out so I will be living in two days. In two days? That's too soon. That's why I am here to say goodbye. Wow. So you and Joyce are leaving me to go to school. I saw Joyce yesterday and she told me about your situation. Please don't worry because I know God will make a way for you. I am praying for you every day. Thank you, Daniel. I will miss you and Joyce so much. I know, right? It is well. Sophia, I don't know how we can keep communicating. You don't even have a phone. Yeah. You will always be in my heart. You will always be in my heart too. Bye. Bye. Deed, you need to start buying the stuff you will take to school. Please make a list so we can go to buy them. Okay, Mom. I can't wait to get to school. Thank you so much. You are welcome, my dear. Yes, Sophia. I will be going to school tomorrow. Though you passed with extra grades more than me, I am the one going to school. Can you now see that passing your exams means nothing? It cannot even take you to the university. I wish you all the best, Deed. Thank you. I am glad I am going to school. I wish you all the best with mom at home. <laughs> Lord, I am still going to give you thanks even though all my friends are going to school. I will still give you thanks even if there is no money to go to school. Your word says in Job 14, 7-9 For there is the hope of a tree, if it is cut down, that it will sprout again, and that the tender branch thereof will not cease. Though the root thereof wax old in the earth, and the stock thereof die in the ground. Yet through the scent of water, it will bud, and bring forth this like a plant. I believe you, Lord. I will keep holding to your word. Lord, I need to find a job to do to keep me busy. Please direct my footsteps to the right place. Good morning, Ma. Yes, what's good about the morning? All your mates are in school, 
but you are busy eating my food for free. What do you want to do with your life, tell me? That's why I am here Ma. I want to go out to look for work today. Good idea. We need money to feed in this house, you know. Okay, Ma. I am going out now. Bye. Don't stay for long, you need to get back in time to cook lunch. Okay. Hi, good morning. Good morning, how may I help you? I am looking for work. Anything at all will do. Sorry, we don't have any work for you right now. You can check back later. Okay, thanks. Any luck? No ma. I walked around but couldn't get anything. I will try again tomorrow. You are so full of bad luck. Even people do not want to give you a job. Will you go to the kitchen and make lunch for me? Nonsense. Okay ma. Good morning. Good morning. How may I help you? I am searching for a job. Any kind of job. Is that so? Yes. Okay there might be something for you. Let me check with the manager. Okay, thank you so much. You are welcome. Please wait here. Okay. The manager would like to see you. Open that door over there and go down the corridor. The office is the last door on your right. Okay, thanks. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you doing today? I am fine, sir. Are you the lady that's looking for work? Yes, sir. What's your name? My name is Sophia Bernard. I just finished high school. Why are you not in the university? My aunt couldn't afford the fees, so I have to work to save money for the fees. Okay, that's good. You will be in charge of this store for now. You take inventory of drugs and make sure things are in order. It is quite easy. I will show you what you need to do and we can discuss the salary. Is that okay with you? Yes, sir. It is. Good. Let's go to the store. Okay, sir. Good afternoon, ma. How far? Did you get a job? Yes. I got a job at the pharmacy store. That's great. At least we can eat better food from now on. And I want to save the salary for my school fees. Your school fees? Do you know how much it costs to go to the university? Your 10-year salary cannot pay for it all. So, I suggest we use the money for feeding at home. And please, I need the money. No matter how long it takes to save, I want to do it. Okay, we can divide the salary into two. We use one part for feeding at home and the other can be for you. Ma, the money is not much. Not at all. I still need to pay for a taxi every day and eat at work. By the time you take the half, nothing is left for me. Does it look like I care? Do you know how much I have spent feeding you since you were 10 years old? If I calculate it for you, can you pay for it? You better shut up there and do as I say. Your mates are walking to and fro to their working places every day. You want to take taxis to work. Lazy girl. Start preparing lunch right now. Nonsense. Okay, Ma. Is that you, Sophia? Aunt Rebecca, what are you doing here? I should be asking you that. This is where I buy my drugs every month. What are you doing here? Aunt Mary says she cannot afford to pay for my university education, so I decided to work to save money for it. You mean Mary refused to pay your school fees? What nonsense? What about the money she got from your mom's share of their parents' properties? Why is Mary like this? She has money from my mom's share of inheritance? Yes, the money is for your upkeep and education. Wow. She said she doesn't have money for my education. Not to worry, I will sort it out with her. By the way, you were not around during my 70th birthday, why? And said I should stay behind. She did? Yes, Ma. Okay, don't worry. I will be at the house this weekend and we will talk everything over. Is that okay? Okay, Ma. Wow. Aunt Rebecca. Good to see you. How are you doing? I am doing very well. How are you too? We can't complain. I am managing. Okay, how are the girls? Sophia and Deed. Oh, they are doing fine. Deed has gone to school while Sophia went to the supermarket to buy groceries for the house. Speaking of Sophia, 
I saw her at the pharmacy store working. I asked her what she was doing there. She said she is working to save money for her university education. Why is that? I thought you were in charge of her mom's inheritance. Oh that. Don't mind the silly girl. She didn't pass her final year examination so I asked her to rewrite her papers again. She said she didn't want to stay at home doing nothing, so she got a job at the pharmacy. Is that what happened? She didn't tell me about that. You know these young girls. She is shy to tell you that she failed her exams. She knows that you will scold her. I am sure that was why she hid it from you. Okay, there is no problem about that. I just want to ensure that she is well taken care of since you don't have to spend your own money on her education. It is okay, aunt. What would you like to eat? Don't bother yourself. I won't stay long. I have a meeting with the women in the church in the next hour, so I would like to go now. Okay, aunt. Thanks for coming. It's okay please take care of yourself and the girls. Okay, I will. Bye. Stupid girl. What did you tell Aunt Rebecca when you saw her yesterday? I didn't tell her anything. Liar. Will you start talking now before I break your head for you? She asked me what I was doing at the pharmacy store. I told her I was working to save up for my university tuition. That was all. Look at you, lazy girl. Do you think Aunt Rebecca can save you from my hands? You lie. I told you I can't afford the fees and that's it. I am not sending you to school. If you like gather the whole family together, my decision won't change. Do you hear me? But why do you hate me so much, Aunt? Aunt Rebecca said you have money from my mother's share of my grandparents' properties. Why can't you use it to send me to the university? What audacity? You are asking me to spend which money? Have you forgotten that I paid your school fees and fed you throughout high school? Do you think I plucked the money from trees? I don't blame you. For your information, the money is finished. Will you get out of my sight before I give you slaps that will set your brains right? Yes ma. Lord, I thank you. This pain is increasing every day. My mom has money from her inheritance. My aunt will not use it to send me to school. I have to work. Even at that, she demands half of my salary. At the end of the day, I can't even save for my school fees. But I know I have you. The Bible says weeping may tarry for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Psalm 30, 5. I know that my joy will come one day. Sophia, my daughter is coming on Saturday for the holiday. So, I want you to clean up her room before she comes. You know she is a university student now, so she can't do all that stuff. Do you understand? Yes ma. Please I will come a little bit late tomorrow ma. What is happening tomorrow? Tomorrow is Friday and we will have a new supply of drugs. I am in charge of the drug and I need to take the inventory. The vehicle that is bringing it will come shortly before the closing time, so I will have to wait to do it before I close for the day. <laughs> So you are in charge of the store. Your common sense did not tell you that you can steal drugs and sell them to make money for your university education. No, Ma. My mother taught me not to take anything that does not belong to me. She said it was a sin. Your mother? What does your mother know? All she knew when she was alive was to go to church, read the Bible and pray. How far did it help her life? You better listen to me and make something good out of your life. Thank you, Ma. I will wait for God to help me. Okay, it's your business. Silly girl. Get out of my sight. Should I do what Aunt said last night? If I do it, where will I sell the drugs? Oh, okay, I can sell them to customers, especially those that come for prescription drugs every month. I can supply them at home. I can start with my Aunt's prescription drugs. That way, I can quickly make money for my school. But what if I am caught? No one will know, at least not for now. I will just record the wrong numbers to convince them. Oh Lord, should I do it? I don't even know what to do anymore. Hi Joan, can I please use your phone? Okay. Aunt Rebecca, good afternoon Ma. I am fine Ma. Are you planning to come for your prescription drugs this month? Yes. Okay can I bring them for you instead of you coming to the pharmacy? 
You need to rest, you know. Yes. Okay, please send me the list of the drugs. I will bring them to you. Okay, I will come tomorrow to the house. Oh God, I don't know if this is the right thing to do. But the money is too much. If I can do this for at least five customers, I will go to school next year. Good afternoon, aunt. How are you doing, my dear? I am fine, ma. You are an angel. I have not been feeling well. Coming to get the drugs would have been difficult for me. Thanks for bringing them. You're welcome, ma. About the school issue, Mary said you failed your exams. Why didn't you tell me? Is that what she told you? Yes. Aunt, I did not fail my exams. I am one of the best students in my school. So why is she telling me lies? What game is she playing? Please forget about Aunt Mary for now and take your drugs. You need to get better. Okay, thank you. Please get my bag for me over there, so I can pay you the money. Okay, Ma. I am restless. I don't have peace in my mind. What have I done? Keeping the money that's not mine at home. Oh, God. How can I be so stupid to listen to Aunt Mary? Father, please forgive me. I will give the money to the cashier tomorrow. Please, Lord. Good morning, Joan. How are you today, Sophia? I am fine. Please, my aunt is sick and she said I should help her to bring her prescription drugs to the house yesterday. It was late at night, so I picked it up from the store because I didn't want to cause confusion with the ones on the shelf. I should have told you but it was late. Oh that's okay but please don't sell drugs from the store. Let me know about any emergency and I can give you from here. I don't want it to affect the records. We don't sell directly from the store. Okay, I am sorry. Here is the money and the list of drugs. Okay, please reconcile it with your records too. Okay, I will. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, my heart is light now. I am sorry, Lord for the lies I just told. Please forgive me. I won't do it again. My daughter is at the airport. She will soon be here. Please go to the kitchen and make a very delicious dish for her. Make sure everything is proportionate. No too much salt or pepper as is your custom. Okay, Ma. Good. Who do we have here? Deed my beloved daughter. A university undergraduate. An accountant in the making. Welcome home, my dear. The best mom in the world. I miss you so much, mom. Me too. I have longed to see your face. Welcome, my dear. Thank you, mom. Please come into the house. Okay, mom. By the way, where is Sophia? I have not seen her. She should be in the kitchen. We are preparing one of your favorite dishes. That's why I like you, mom. Thanks. You deserve it, my daughter. Please go and freshen up and come and eat your food. Okay, mom. How are you doing, Sophia? I am doing well, I guess. You should be in school like me and not at home. I heard you were working in a pharmacy. Yes, I am. I thought I could work and save up money for my school. But your mom wouldn't let it happen. What did she do? She collects half of the salary for my feeding. The remaining money is nothing by the time I take taxis and eat at work throughout the month. Wow. So what do you plan to do now? As always I know the answer, trust in the Lord. Yes, I am glad you know it already. I will trust in the Lord with all my heart and not lean on my own understanding. In all my ways, I will acknowledge Him and He will direct my path. It's in Proverbs 3, 5-6. Sophia. Are you not tired of trusting in this God who has never shown up for you for even once? It is time you take matters into your own hands and decide your destiny. What do you mean by that? When I got to school, I met big girls who were doing big things and I joined them. We travel out of town every weekend to go and meet big men who are ready to pay us big money to play with them. Ah, uh indeed. -huh, but what do you need money for? Your mom pays your school fees and gives you an allowance monthly. Why do you have to play with men for money? That one? It's barely enough for me. I was managing myself before I met these girls. Now, 
I can eat whatever I want and even wear top designer clothes. Not the type mom buys for me at the fashion store. Wow. Deed. This is not the way to live. Are you not afraid of sexually transmitted diseases? Sophia, we take care of ourselves. Look, what I am saying is that you can go to school without saving money for the fees. All you need do is to get your first year tuition and get into the school. Thereafter, I will introduce you to the big girls and you will never lack money in your life again. <laughs> Deed. I can't do it. We have four weeks holiday, but I am going to spend only two weeks here. We have a big work coming. Some students are coming from the US for their research and they need girls for the weekend. They will pay us in dollars. I would have loved to go with you but mom will not allow you. Deed, I can't believe you have changed to another person in school. You even smoke and drink now. Keep your mouth shut my friend. Mom must not hear about all I told you. I am still her naive girl. Think about it, Sophia. You can change your entire life in a twinkle of an eye if you meet a big man with big money. No way, Deed. I would rather wait for God than do what you are doing. Do you even think about your future at all? Forget about the future, my friend. The future will take care of itself. For now, I want to enjoy and experience life as much as possible. When the future comes, we will know what to do. Okay, I wish you all the best. Just count me out of this nonsense you call enjoyment. You're missing out Sophia. You better use what you have to get what you want. I will keep praying for God to have mercy on you and show you the right way to live. As you can see, I have all I need and more. It is you who needs to open your eyes and see the right way. Okay, all the best. Mom, we have four weeks holiday, but I will only spend two weeks with you. Why is that? Where are you going to? We have a group research at the school. So, I will return to school to do it with my classmates. We have to present the report to the department when we fully resume. So, we need enough time to do the research. Oh, that's okay. I thought we would have enough time to chat and go to the fashion store. I want you to get new clothes. Don't worry about that, Mom. I can take care of myself. Okay. I will add the money to your upkeep so you can buy new clothes when you get there. Okay, Mom. Thanks. <laughs> I like Sophia. She is a beautiful lady. My wife has not been active in the bedroom. I need a lady by the side. She will fit in perfectly. But, she is a Christian. She may not agree. Okay, I know what to do. Wow, Sophia. I am impressed by your hard work since you resumed work here. Thank you, sir. Because of that, I would like to take you out for lunch this afternoon. That's not necessary, sir. I am just doing my job. Yes, I know. But I am impressed. Let me take care of you this afternoon. Okay, sir. This place is beautiful. I am sure you've not been here before. Yes, I don't go out. Sophia, do you know you are a fine lady? You shouldn't be doing the work you are currently doing. Yes. I know sir. It is just a temporary thing. God is taking me on a journey. One day my dreams will be fulfilled. Forget about God for now. Do you know there are other ways you can get your dreams fulfilled? Is that so? Yes, there are shortcuts to the fulfillment of dreams instead of wasting time and trusting the God who doesn't know you exist. Sir, God knows and sees me. He is Elroy. I know him too. The only way my mom taught me is to follow God's direction and trust him to help me out of every situation. So, I am surprised to hear of another way, a shortcut for that matter. It is because your heart is closed. All you know is this Christian thing. Open up your heart my dear and I will show you a simpler way. In fact, if you listen to me, you will be at the university in the next academic session. Sir, is that true? I will be in school in the next academic session. Wow. I like it. Please tell me about this shortcut. <laughs> you see, I can't tell you all about it here. We have to schedule a place and a time to meet. Then, I will tell you what you need to do to quickly get to where you want to be. Wow. Thank you very much, sir. My mom did not tell me about any shortcuts. She only taught me to pray and trust God. Your mom is old school. 
I am sure she wasn't exposed to all these things. Life can be good, my dear, especially if you are a woman. You don't have to suffer to get what you need. Not at all. Okay, sir. So when do we meet to talk? We can meet on Friday shortly after closing hours. I will take you to the place and we will talk. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, my dear. Good evening, Ma. Yes, what is it? I will come home late tomorrow. Have you not been coming home late before? What makes this one different? I have things to do at the office after closing. I don't know what benefit this information is to me. Steal drugs and sell to make money for us and your school fees, you said no. So do whatever you want. If you like, sleep at work. It's your life after all. Okay, Ma. Sophia, are you ready? This will be one of the best days of your life. I promise. Yes, sir. I am ready. Okay, let's go. Hi, good evening. Hello, you are welcome. How may I help you? I need a room. Okay. I just booked a room for us. Let's go. Why are you booking a room, sir? We can talk in the lobby here. Don't be afraid, Sophia. We need privacy. People are coming in and going out every time here. We need our privacy. Okay. What do you want to eat and drink? We need to eat first. I am okay, sir. No, wait here for me. Let me call the service desk and order food for us. Okay, sir. What I want to discuss with you today is very important. It can either change your life for good if you accept it or for worse if you reject it. What are you saying, sir? Don't worry. You will get to understand me better as I explain it to you. Okay, sir. You see, I am a married man. But my wife is too busy for me, so I don't always get what I want from her. I want you to be my girlfriend. Girlfriend? But you are married. Remember I told you about a shortcut? Yes. Yes. This is it. You will be my girlfriend. You will be available whenever I need you to do things for me. Do things for you? What things, sir? Let me first of all, tell you the benefit involved in being my girlfriend. You don't have to work again. I will send you to school and pay your school fees until you graduate from school. That's not all. I will give you money every month for your upkeep. You see you don't have to suffer anymore. Now, the things you will do for me include the things my wife does for me in the bedroom. That's all. Nothing more. Now, the repercussion of rejecting this offer is that you will lose your job. So think very carefully before you give me a response. <laughs> uh -huh. Can you give me five minutes to go to the bathroom and come back? You can take ten minutes if you need more time to think. It's all up to you. Thank you, sir. Ah, Lord, this is too much for me. This suffering is too much. There are temptations left and right for me. Should I do it and be free forever? At least I can go to school and have money to spend. I can even join Deed's big girls group when I get to school. With that, I can wear what Deed is wearing and also spend like big girls. All this suffering will be over. This is a perfect shortcut for me. I don't want to lose my job and stay at home again. It will be torture with my aunt. <laughs> Should I do it?